Let's have a look at the first stream policy and standards. What does good look like here? Well, first of all, you are looking for a single consistent set of policies and standards that are aligned with all compliance requirements. At the policy level, you want these things to be technology agnostic. What do you want to achieve and why? Then you can have any number of standards to talk about how that plays out in a specific technology. One of the measures of a good policy is that changes in the day-to-day -day operational environment don't force you to change the policy. If the policy has to be updated to reflect, for instance, the container framework, the policy is not great to start with and contains too much specificity. From the AppSec perspective, we are talking about security requirements. So your AppSec policy is going to talk about the practices and the choices that impact application security. So you're going to talk about code reviews have to happen, automated security testing needs to be used, all changes to the product software have to go through change management process and so on. Policies are going to set those expectations. They are also going to include security requirements like encrypt everything, encrypt everywhere. But the policy shouldn't refer to a specific encryption protocol. It might refer a standard though. So the first question is, do you have something? Have you thought about what your compliance drivers are? Have those been turned into a common set of policies and standards? If you've got this organizational set of policies and standards, simply having them is not the whole answer. The next part is, are the project teams aware of them? Are the practices of the team being performed in line with them? This isn't really a compliance question. It's a question of whether or not the project teams are mindful of the policy. The compliance checks are in the second stream. Now, in the quality criteria for this question are having adopted standards appropriate to your organization's industry and having aligned those standards with policies to include technology-specific guidance basically translating your policies into standards, depending on the specific technology. At level two, the question is whether we've made it easy for the dev teams to do policy checks. The lift from level one to level two is relatively heavy for this one. And it is rare to see organizations to have this in place. The bare minimum is to have test scripts in place that are aligned with your policies. And you have to create versions for each technology. So align them with your tech-specific standards. It is interesting to note the coverage dimension for this question. The coverage is for the content of the policies. So it's not about how, how widespread it is in your organization, but how much of that content have we made it easy for the dev teams to apply. At level three, we ask the question of how are we assessing compliance to policies at the project level? Do we have a process where that gets reported up? Information, information on non-compliance or misunderstanding is used to improve our process. Maybe we need better training or look at the wording of our policies or improve the run books in order to improve compliance. The quality criteria include creating procedures to generate compliance reports. They could be automated, but they don't have to. Delivering compliance report to all relevant stakeholders and using those reports to identify improvement areas. Once again, at level three, you're gonna review the process, you're gonna continuously improve, and then you're gonna use that as a feedback loop to other streams and other security activities.